Christmas may be over, but the party's just getting started. Check out how we prepare to host Lucia Style this holiday season. Happy 2020 and welcome to our channel. In today's video, we're going for a quick shop with me, followed by a family kickback and decorate with me. For those of you that are new, let me catch you up to speed. My name is V and my spouse and I just purchased a brand new home. This year we're hosting Christmas and since this is our first home, we are starting the decor collection from scratch. So it's imperative that we put much thought into what pieces we choose because we want them to last. So my primary shopping location for this holiday season was Big Lots. I chose Big Lots because they are very very affordable. I enjoy the collections they come out with each year. And this year they had four main collections, which I really enjoyed. They had the holiday collection, which was mainly farmhouse themed, but had some rustic pieces I thoroughly enjoyed. The second was Elegant Wander, which was, I don't know, I'd describe it as elegant and very much so exuded opulence, which is right down my lane. Thirdly, they had Tinseltown, which was more so traditional in decor. And lastly, they had Starry Night, which was my second favorite and would have been perfect, but wasn't exactly in my color scheme. It was a deep blue color with yellow gold and silver accents. So as you can see, by the time I was done shopping, my cart was completely full. I actually rung out in the back so I wouldn't hold up the line in the front, and they had an employee assist me to my car by pushing a second cart full of my items behind me. Now, I don't have the largest cart in the world by any means, but my trunk is quite spacious. And darling, this thing was full, floor to ceiling. I wanted to quickly show other items I've been collecting over time from various stores including Walmart, Dollar Tree, Home Goods, and Z Gallery. The way I went about choosing my pieces was pretty much I mixed and matched everything from each line that I love. I adored them all, but I was sure to keep my decor in the same neutral palette. This Christmas, I'm going with one accent color, which is green, and for the metal, I am actually choosing two. I'm going with gold and silver. The next day, the guys had a football kickback which in hindsight was a perfect way to test out our new feature wall. If you haven't already seen the video, I'll link them below. Also, a quick shout out to my brother for always coming through and showing us some love. Thank goodness my dear friend Kayla came by with her hubby, Freddie. She saw that it was about to be a full-blown decor fest in here, honey, and naturally wanted to help. She was able to help me with my garland, which I by no means was a pro in whatsoever, and we were able to complete the entire stairway in what I feel like was record time. This year's Christmas theme, I kind of hinted to early Earlier in the video, the theme for 2019 was Elegant Forest. I had lots of greenery, various plays on the classic Christmas tree, which I had several displayed in various sizes around the home and outside. On the stairway, I kept the garland nude to display its natural beauty, but added a few twinkle lights, which I purchased from Big Lots to give it that pop. My bad, go ahead now. Okay. We'll take off. Basically, uh, we had a hater to the left. Uh, oh, okay. Point them out, point them out. Right there, the Gator fan. <laughs> What had happened was the mistaken uh -huh. wonderful team who is number one currently in the NFC and currently in the NFL. Mm -hmm. He mistaken them for the Dolphins. It's a snatch right here. You understand? <laughs> he mistaken them for the Dolphins. And I, I'm not sure what. Because this is not a green jersey. What color is it? What color is it? But this is red, baby. This is red, baby. You see it? It's like a library in here. I need, I need everybody to have that same energy. <laughs> He's stupid, bro. These throw blankets and pillows went perfectly with my theme idea of elegant forest. I purchased them from Home Goods, and since we are hosting, I had to make sure that everything was put together and all the tags were clipped. I've shown these poofs from Home Goods in previous videos, but the floor lamps are newer, but they're also from Home Goods. The next task is putting the Christmas tree together, and assisting me is my father. I had no clue what I was doing, so I was definitely happy that he was around to help. He pretty much set the tree up, and when all three tiers were attached, we began the world's most tedious task, bluffing. We purchased this tree from Michaels Online. It's a 7.5 foot block tree with RGB and warm lights. It has multiple lighting settings which range between a deep strobe and flashing options. This is our first time owning a block tree and one thing no one warned me about was that some types of block when touched 
is literally airborne and floats everywhere, including your face, hair, up your nasal passage, everywhere. Of course, not all flock is this sensitive, but this one, honey, we had to whip out the mask, literally. After the tree was up and lit, we tested out the RGB options and literally sat back in amazement of its natural beauty. The tree was absolutely stunning on its own, but to finish things off, it was only right to put the purchased ornaments to the test. I purchased large gold lettering from Hobby Lobby to spell out the word Noel across the tree. I got this idea from Instagram. I also added large Merry Christmas signs so that no matter where you are around the tree, there's clear lettering. We also purchased our aerial rug, which is an aqua blue color, which matches our backsplash in our kitchen. It also has gray undertones, which is perfect for our home. I figured I'd insert it here since I was showing the living area earlier. I would like to also give a quick pan of our living room, kind of a sneak peek of what's to come next. If you are interested, please stay tuned because there are more videos to come. I want to thank you all for joining us here today. And if you enjoyed it here, please like, share, and subscribe so you won't miss a thing. Until the next video, you guys. Bye.